Hello and welcome back to the Johnny Gets Cash YouTube channel. Now a lot of you guys are subscribers and you've probably subscribed because you've seen the videos where I've traded my up from a very cheap car and I'm on my way to a supercar. There's other videos as well where I do buy cheap cars but what I've noticed is I'm getting a lot of comments from people saying the cheap cars I buy don't exist, they're not real, I must be lying about the price I give for them and it's simply not true. I'm making a very very quick video now just to address that. Uh, first things first, I never lie. What I say in my videos is true. I wouldn't lie on video, I wouldn't lie to you guys. There's nothing in it for me. What, what's the point of me lying? So basically what I want to do today is show you a car that I've just bought that I normally wouldn't even bother making a video on. But because I know there's quite a few people who don't either believe or don't understand how or why I give such a small amount for certain cars, I'm actually going to do a, a quick video on this one just to show you it does exist uh, and how I come to find these cars and basically just to prove that uh, I am what I say I am. So, a lot of the controversy comes from the beginning of my Chop to the Top series where I bought a Toyota RAV4 for £150. Now, a lot of people don't believe that's true because that's less than scrap value. Okay, on the surface, I totally agree that does seem a little bit off. Why would someone sell a car for less than they could get from the scrap man? Great question. Basically, I buy cars in lots of different ways. One of those ways is Cars Wanted adverts. Uh, I have them posted all over the place in my local area and actually slightly further afield. I have a lot of adverts running all the time, basically saying, I will buy your car, any condition, blah, blah, blah. I get a lot of calls. Now, a lot of cars I don't buy, sometimes because we can't come to an agreement on the price, sometimes a car isn't what I'm after, sometimes it's purely not what it's described as being, or it's way too far gone for me to try and put effort into and sell. But occasionally, I do get offered a car that someone is absolutely sick of and I can pretty much make any offer I want because I'm not that bothered if I buy it or not and sometimes those people really want rid and they take my offer and that's great so I have a car on the trailer today that I've actually just paid 200 pounds for now at the moment scrap value for cars is 240 pounds where I live when this guy contacted me and said what the car was the situation I said look I don't really want it if you want rid today I'll come with my trailer I'll get it it'll be 200 pounds and he took it. So the story is this. He had the car on the road, it was running, the alternator failed. So he paid someone to change the alternator. That was all fine. Uh, there's a new alternator on it. I can see that has been done. But then the battery failed on him. He couldn't release the battery from the car. The, the clamp had corroded. Now, this guy is a thoroughly nice bloke, no reflection on him whatsoever. He is not a car person like so many people aren't. So he could not free that battery up. So he bought another battery, put it in the footwell and put jump leads from one battery to the other to try and get the car started. Well, when that didn't work, I think he more or less lost faith. He needs a car to get to work, absolutely fair enough. So he went and bought another car and thought, right, I'll deal with this one down the line. Well, street parking only where he lived, he's paying two lots of tax to keep this car on the road. Well, of course he wants rid. So when he phoned me and said, here's the situation, I've got this car, it's got a completely flat battery, it doesn't start, but it has had a new alternator, what will you give me for it? I, of course, said, well, what's the mileage? And he said, in all honesty, I don't know the mileage. I can't remember. And at this point, I hadn't even asked for the registration number because it was just a quick telephone call and I basically knew he wanted rid that day. So I offered him 200 pounds because it's slightly less than scrap. I thought, if I go and get the car and it's absolutely rubbish, I'll take it straight to the scrap yard and make a quick 30 or 40 quid minus my fuel costs, which let's be honest, in a supercharged Range Rover is, uh, I'm probably gonna be making a loss, aren't I? But anyway, I made him the offer of 200 pounds and he took it. So I went there, I picked the car up. It's got a flat battery at the moment, so I don't actually know the mileage. But what I do know is I've basically given slightly less than scrap for this car. Now on first inspection, I actually don't think it's a bad car. I think I could make some money on this one. So we'll jump out and I'll show you around the car while it's on the trailer. And then we'll see about getting it going. And uh, because it's a digital dash, when I fire it up or get some energy into the battery, we'll find out what the mileage is. And we'll find out if I've done well or if I'm gonna have a run to the scrapyard. So without further ado, let's go and have a look at what I've got. So there it is, as arrived, we have got a 2003 Ford Focus gear. So it's actually a pretty nice spec car. As I said to you just now, it's arrived completely with a flat battery. It's got a digital dash, so I don't know the mileage. I didn't know the reg until I picked it up. However, I've got the reg here, so I could easily do an online check and see what the last MOT mileage was. But what's the fun in that? I think what we'll do is put some power into that battery 
and we'll have a look at the dash and we'll see what the mileage is. It's a 2003 car so it's 20 years old let's be honest 20 years average mileage 12,000 a year it's going to be a high mileage one however i have given just 200 pounds for this car and apart from being a bit dirty i really don't think it's that bad if i show you inside yeah it's a bit dirty it's a bit moldy in a place or two it's been sitting for a while you'll see if i turn ignition on let's get you around here there is nothing it's completely flat so we will deal with that in a minute but really you can see I've got the V5 for it there. It's really not a bad car. And for 200 pounds, I'm actually really pleased with it. So the point I'm trying to get across in this video is I buy all sorts of stuff, some better than others. And sometimes I buy things that people just want rid of and they want them gone fast. So I can get away with offering basically scrap value for stuff. Sometimes that works in my favor. Sometimes I lose out when I do that. However, it's all part of being in the trade. I'm not stressed about it. I really just wanted to show in this video a car that I normally wouldn't talk about, I wouldn't even bring to the channel. But because so many people seem to think that what I do with these cheap cars is, is, is fictional, I've made it up somehow, I, I just wanted to address that. Clearly, you can see this isn't a pretty car. It's not the best example. So hopefully you're not gonna struggle to believe that I gave scrap value for it. The guy wanted rid and, uh, and I was in the right place at the right time with cash, with a trailer and with my truck, ready to go and I took it away. So first things what I'm gonna do is get some juice in that battery, we'll fire it up and we will see A, what the mileage is and B, if this thing even runs. Okay guys, I'm actually in the focus now. I've just got some power to that battery and um, I'm smiling a bit because I can't believe my luck to be honest and I'm sure this isn't the way this video should have gone because I was trying to prove that what I do is, is honest and I'm sure you're just not gonna believe me when I show you the mileage of this car. Um, the guy honestly said he didn't know the mileage, so I was thinking he was hiding that it was gonna be, you know, astronomical, like 200 plus thousand miles. To be fair, it is 20 years old, this car. Anyway, I'll spin you around and I'm gonna show you the dash when I when I turn the key on and the, the digital dash lights up and you see the mileage of this car, you're, you're probably not gonna believe me, but I'm gonna put the video out anyway because I've got to now. So this is what happens when I spin the camera around. Guys, sorry about that technical mishap. The camera wouldn't spin around. But anyway, what is the mileage on this 20 year old Ford Focus I've just given 200 pounds for? If you look at the screen just here when I turn it on, would you believe it? 53,530 miles. I mean, that is just ridiculous. As I said just now, I'm sure that a lot of you uh, in the comments are gonna be going wild and say that there's no way you've given that for a, a 50,000 mile car. Honestly, I didn't know. And the, the seller said he didn't know. So honestly, I thought he was he was winding me up. I thought it was gonna be terrible mileage. Um, obviously now I've got the car, I've got the plate. I will do um, an MOT check to make sure it all stacks up and it hasn't been modified in any way. Hi, Johnny from the future here. Spoiler alert, that mileage isn't all it's cracked up to be, but more on that at the end of the video. But here we are with a 20 year old Focus gear with 53,000 miles on it. I've just given 200 pounds, which is just under scrap value for it. So I'm actually feeling really positive about this one. I think I am gonna clean this one up, give it a full service, go through it entirely, make sure it's really, really as good as it can be, put a fresh MOT on it, and it will make a nice cheap car for someone. Um, I haven't actually done my market research, but my gut feeling says it's something around 1,200 to 1,500 pounds with a fresh MOT and a fresh service. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it, to be honest. Uh, so I'm gonna show you around it a bit more outside because uh, I think it's actually one for stock. So let's, let's go and have a proper look around it now. I'll tell you what, guys, what I didn't do actually is try and start it. So I could have been a bit enthusiastic needlessly. So let's get a bit of boost going. And let's see if it will even start because I still could have bought a lemon, to be fair. I think I was getting a bit carried away with myself. Will it even start? <laughs> of course it will. Oh, wow, look at that. And it actually sounds really smooth. Okay, there it is. I'll be honest at this stage, this video is not going the way I thought it was going to. I bought this car for 200 pounds, not knowing the mileage, not knowing if it ran. Bought it from a fairly nice guy. Of course, you know, nothing against that guy. I just thought he, he was being um, economic with the truth regarding the mileage. I thought it was gonna be awful, the mileage, but here we are with a 53,000 mile Ford Focus gear for 200 pounds and it's fired up and it sounds so smooth. I'm really, really happy. 
I thought this video was going to go the way of either having tremendous miles or it not running and me having to go to the scrapyard and then saying, okay, you know, I don't win them all. That's definite proof I'm not lying because why would I show this? But um, I, can, I can see the comments now with the people saying I'm still making this up. I assure you this is 100% the truth. I've just bought this for 200 pounds. It's, it's, yes, it's got a flat battery, but I'll change that. It runs like an absolute dream. It's got 53,000 miles on it. You sure about that? So this has now gone from being potentially scrap fodder to quite an interesting prospect. I'm gonna prepare this car and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to it. Because as I said before, I think my gut feeling is that it's something between 1,200 and 1,500 pounds with a fresh MOT and a service on it. It's, it's gonna be good for someone. It's a, it's a practical family car, you know? It seems it runs well, it's low mileage. I'm, I'm over the moon with it. But anyway, let's do a little bit of uh, a look around so we know what we're dealing with. I've already showed you inside, but just show you again. Obviously, it needs a thorough, thorough clean and decontamination. Rubbish in there, there's a bit of mold. That will all get sorted, not impossible. Small amount of damage on the rear bumper and slight, tiny bit of surface rust on the arch. All very, very sortable, no problem at all. Other than that, it looks really straight. There's no major damage. It hasn't been knocked about or anything. I think, I don't know what that is, if it's tree sap or bird mess or what it is. I don't know. I don't really care at the stage. It can be sorted. Um, I think that's just paint transfer. I don't think there's any damage there. Uh, aside from being a little bit dirty in the engine bay, it's all complete and you can hear how smooth it is. Clearly, we need a new battery. That goes without saying. Now, it's gonna get full, full service because I don't actually have much service history with it. I've just got a few receipts. So being as the age it is, I will do a full service on it, of course I will. And I want it to have um, a full MOT, ideally a clean ticket, because I don't want any want to have issues with this, but it will still be a cheap car. Anyway, without dragging on and making this a really long video, uh, I can do more videos on this car if you want to see the next stage with it, but I really just wanted to show you the process of how I get cheap cars, seeing as a lot of people choose not to believe me. Um, and this is the process of how I get them. Um, so, <laughs> so if you want to see more videos of this one or, or even ones like it, I say it's not normally something I'd bother recording, but hey, just let me know and I'll try and do some more. But uh, for now, I'm going to unload it and get it ready to go into prep and then uh, eventually become stock. <laughs> So I did go and do a mileage check on the Focus and I found out something quite interesting. In 2008, the MOT history shows that it had 35,000 miles, but by the next MOT in 2009, the odometer was showing 3,000 miles. So what I think has actually happened here is they've changed the binnacle on the car. Uh, the engine looks to be original, seems to be the original engine, so I don't think that's been changed or anything like that. What I think has happened is in 2008, they had the MOT done and sometime between the 2008 MOT and the 2009 MOT, the binnacle was changed. So let's assume a brand new zero miles binnacle was put in some point there. That means in 2008 with 35,000 miles and the current odometer showing 53,000 miles, the car has done a total of 88,000 miles. Now, what does that mean for me? Well, this is all provable through the online MOT database. So when I eventually get the car prepped and I sell it, I will advertise it as an 88,000 mile car. However, I will explain to the buyer why the odometer doesn't show 88,000 miles, but I'll also explain how you can, you can check the mileage back through the MOT history. So here we are with an 88,000 mile focus, not a 53,000 mile focus. Well, I'm still very, very pleased with it for 200 pounds, I have to say. It's a cheap car and I think it is gonna be a good car for someone, I really do. Uh, it's important I include these sort of twists and turns in the story uh, in this video because obviously the whole point of it is to prove uh, that I buy these cars cheaply and sometimes it doesn't always go to plan. I mean, this one I feel has still worked out really well, but it wasn't all it first appeared to be. But hopefully you can see that I'm, I'm trying to be honest and transparent with you here. And I think it's a great car for 200 pounds. Uh, obviously I'm yet to prep it. If I find any horrible gremlins in there, I'll, I'll have to update you, but I really don't think I'm going to. It's a, it seems to be a fairly straight car. But there we are, an 88,000 mile Ford Focus gear for 200 pounds. That is how I found it, bought it, and uh, what I'm gonna do with it. So on that note, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers. Yeah.